is a really interesting story about the, the narrative which is played playing out with refugees. Now, the story here reads, Refugee positive push kept a secret. The Morrison government was instructed to create a more positive narrative on refugees in order to boost their employment prospects in a secret report that it has refused to release. Now, this is a great scoop, I've got to say. Um, and, Claire, you're a political reporter. You cover this stuff all the time. Do you think there is a negative narrative around refugees to the extent that it's going to hurt their employment? I think after um, almost, uh, what, six, seven years now of, of very strong rhetoric around border control, that you'd have to assume that some of that filters through into society. And this is a bit of the catch-22 that the Morrison government now faces in that outwardly they want to project this very tough, serious uh, mm. rhetoric around refugees or asylum seekers, but at, at some point when we actually accept these people into our country and invite them to be a part of our society, we want them to be able to, to flourish and, and be functional members of our society. And if it turns out that the rhetoric at one end is, is hampering their ability to find work, to be accepted in their community, then that's a real concern. And it's something that isn't, doesn't have an easy fix. And to think that there, as this, report, uh, this story suggests, that there's a report that the government is sort of hiding away or unwilling to put forward that might have some answers, um, I don't think this will be the last we, we hear of it. Now, Mike, really quickly on this one before we go to the break, mm. what are your thoughts? Do you think it's the role of government to get involved in, in a societal narrative? I'm very sympathetic to what, to what Claire's saying. Obviously, we bring them over here. They've had a very very horrible and some some cases traumatic experience but is that the role of government to influence uh, public opinion well really this report the way it reads to me sounds just like window dressing um, I would think the practical skills that these individuals bring to getting a job is what counts not just some vague idea that we should somehow be sympathetic to refugees the situation with this government is we are bringing people into the country uh, and we're being told that they're skilled, highly skilled, whereas many of them aren't. Mm. But, of course, the fact of the matter is if these individuals have come as refugees, then they really haven't been invited. They're apparently fleeing, and I just don't see that they necessarily bring the skills and uh, trying to paint a sort of rosy narrative around them I don't think is going to help. Well, uh, yeah, I guess there is a difference between a refugee and someone you're bringing in through, like, a 457 visa mm. who you're getting specifically for skills. So, look, I, I am torn on the issue.